So, on this board here, which I'm going to turn around in a real quick moment, is the most successful LinkedIn Connect message we have ever had on the platform. And when I say successful, I'm talking about that myself and my clients have been using since 2018 to consistently book qualified calls with the right clients, get the right people into the network, get on calls that become clients. All right, so what is the most successful LinkedIn Connect message ever? Here it is. It is a blank message. Now, let me explain, because this sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually far from it. When it comes to LinkedIn, and I've been on LinkedIn since, oof, I don't know the year, 2007, 2009, something like that. And my clients, we've helped hundreds of people to get consistent results. I have seen the results of more profiles in more industries than a lot of people will see in their entire life. And what I can tell you to be true is this, based on what I've seen um, with my clients, is that a certain percentage of people, when you go to connect with them on LinkedIn, they will accept the connect message no matter what. Even if you're rude to them, like it's, that, that's exaggerating, but it doesn't matter what you write. A certain percentage of people will accept it anyway. So that's one end. Conversely, on the other end, a certain percentage of people will never, ever connect on LinkedIn, they'll never accept to connect. Even if you like do a dance and jump through flaming hoops of fire, a certain percentage of people will not accept that connect message. That's just the way they are. That's just a pattern you see in any form of lead generation. A group that will, a group that won't, and a group that are on the fence. Now, you may be thinking, but yeah, but I want to convert that group that's on the fence. And that's a completely valid assumption. If you're doing things at volume, i.e. if you're doing paid advertising and you're serving thousands of impressions, which basically means people seeing your advertisements every single day, it's worthwhile optimizing to the nth degree to get the people that are on the fence. But if you're not doing paid advertising, that for the amount of effort it requires to optimize a connect message, it's really not worth it because you're only converting a small amount that are on the fence. So what do you do instead? So let's imagine this board represents the sales process on LinkedIn. Here is the connect message. That's point one. Point two here is booking a qualified call. And there's a whole series of steps that needs to happen in order to get on that call. The connect message is not where we want to start focusing. We want to focus around here once someone has come into our network with minimal effort. Once they're in our network, that is where we want to focus. We want to focus on that individual here and not here. Because we literally, you could just pull open on your phone, you could pull sales nav or LinkedIn on the homepage and click connect 20 to 30 times in the morning while you're on the treadmill and you would have done your connects and you will get as good as results as someone that spends an hour painstakingly deciding what to write in a connect message. That's reality. What you need to do here is once they're in the network, you need to personalize the outreach. What does that mean? Well, let me give a quick analogy that I always use to describe the best way to communicate on LinkedIn. I want to imagine you're going into a bank in an urban area close to where you live, a downtown bank. It's a Wednesday lunchtime. You go into the bank. There's likely to be a line of people waiting to be seen. Now, let's imagine you walk in the bank. You have total disregard to everyone there. You walk to the front of the line and you stand in front of the person at the front of the line with your back to the person behind you and you don't say a thing. The probability is high that you would cause a scene, right? It's not following cultural conventions. It's just not a good way to behave. Now, let's replay that scenario. Let's imagine you walk into the bank and it's the same bank, same lines of people. Let's imagine you've got your, I can say this, my son's out here. I've got my three and a half year old here. I'm pushing a stroller with the other arm. It's got my one year old in. The dog's outside barking. It's chaos, right? Let's imagine you just say to everyone in the line, look, I I'm really sorry. You, you don't have to say yes. I'll totally understand if you don't, but I don't want to subject you to these kids crying for 20 minutes. Just this once, would it be possible if we went to the front of the line? I mean, you don't have to do it, but just this once. You're not 
guaranteed to get a favorable response, but the probability of that favorable response is someone going, yeah, yeah, no problem, I get it, jump in, I've got kids, you know, I, I, I know how you feel. The probability of that happening is exponentially higher. Why? Because there's a context for the communication. People know why you're communicating. So what you want to do is instead of focusing here on the perfect connect message, is once that person's in the network, use the information in their profile, use the content they're posting, use their behavior on the platform, and use that as context to start a conversation. Spend your time here, and don't spend your time here, and it's a much smarter way to do LinkedIn.